This is a review of EgoTech KG061 keyboard. This is the cheapest packaging that I ever seen on the keyboard. It's just a printed paper over this recycled box. Anyways, opening the box, we have a detachable micro USB cable. It is not braided or anything, but it has a nylon cord organizer. Taking the keyboard out of the bubble bag, it is way more beautiful than I expected. There is nothing on the sides of the keyboard, and we only have a micro USB port on the top. The aluminum bevel is not clean cut and has scratches throughout. I'm not sure if it's just how it is or if I got a refurbished one. Nothing's too crazy on the back of this keyboard. We have a rubber pad on each corner and two adjustable feet on the top, which are also rubberized. The ones on the top are not glued on tight though, and it looks like it's just using double-sided tape. Taking a closer look at Eagle Tech logo, I think it's barely visible with this silver aluminum top. Beside it, we have our cap lock and scroll lock indicator. And again, maybe they could have made these labels more visible somehow. Moving on to the keycaps, it is ABS and you can definitely feel the print of these function labels. With that, let's do a quick type test to get a feel of how it sounds. It's using a knockout brown switch. I don't know if it says E I E T or E L, but I managed to capture it on camera. I'm not sure if it's because of the low profile of this keyboard that it requires less force, or if it's the tactility of the switches that my hand just don't feel that sore after hours of typing. Also, typing on it is extremely quiet, and I think this keyboard does give me better typing accuracy comparing to the reds that I have. Having all that said, the key press just feels so mushy. It's very similar to typing on membrane, and it just doesn't feel that satisfying. The keyboard also comes with a user guide, but it doesn't provide me any info except telling me to check out their website to download the real manual. But anyways, let's quickly go through it. On the FN roll, we have our usual media keys. Again, only the music media keys works fine on Mac, but the rest doesn't do anything there. We have our standard lightning controls. There are four levels of brightness on this keyboard, which you would control it with FM plus arrows up and down. Arrows left and right controls the direction of the animation, and dash and equals controls the speed. The model that I got here only has a blue backlight, but it offers a lot of lighting effects. Above the arrow keys, we have these numbers labeled 1 through 5. Each number contains 3 to 4 different lighting styles, and you can just kinda cycle through to find out. You can also customize the lightning. L1 through LA has a preset static lightning, and you can modify it. LR1 and LR2 are basically just empty slots to let you build from scratch. To do the recording, you need to go into one of the L profile first. I'm using L1 in this example. Then you press FM plus LR to start recording. Then you can press any keys that you want which I'm just going to press O and K, and I'm going to turn off S for this demo. Once you finish customizing it, press FM plus LR again to save it, and you're done. The setting is saved on the keyboard, so even if you switch computer, it will still load up this profile. If at any point you want to reset everything to default, then you need to hold FM key and press escape F1, F3, and F5. Then you should see this animation and all should be reverted back to factory default. Overall, I think this is a nice looking keyboard. The packaging is not that great and typing on it does not feel that satisfying on the fingertips, but it is very quiet and something about it allows me to type for a longer period of time without feeling sore. It offers a lot of lightning customization, but I personally think it looks best without any blue lights on. I would recommend this keyboard for maybe office use, but not so much for gaming because of the mushy clicks. I would also recommend getting the white version so that it won't attract as much of those greasy fingerprints. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.